Welcome back to another monthly market update. I'm Brandon Johns with the Coleman Johns Group, a real estate agent here in Nashville. And we make all these videos here on our YouTube channel to help answer all your questions about Nashville, surrounding areas, but also update you on the local real estate market here. Now, before I jump into the metrics of the real estate market here in Franklin, I want to preface this video like my other market update videos. I'm not going to sway you one way or the other. I'm just wanting to give you the data to give you a better idea of what's going on here in the market. It may be a great time for you to buy or sell, and it might be a terrible time for someone else. So it all depends on your timeline, what you're trying to accomplish with your goals here in real estate. And I'd be happy to talk about your specific situation. So just reach out to us on our contact information below and I look forward to talking to you. So let's just jump right into the metrics here in Franklin. First thing we're gonna talk about is sales price. And as you can see right here in March, 2023, we just closed out on recording this at the beginning of April, $850,000 median sales price in Franklin, Tennessee. And as you can see on the right side, that's about a 15% increase from March of last year. So home price about 15%. Now we're looking at a monthly data. So as you can see, this looks pretty choppy. Now, obviously if we spread this out, it was rolling data, it would be less choppy, but I like to look on a monthly basis to get a better feel of what's really going on here in the market. So as you can see, you know, March, 2022, that's when we were starting to see some hikes and different volatility in the market. And as you can see, it gets quite choppy. Now we could see a spike or a, you know, a decrease um, in April, but take this with a grain of salt. These are just monthly increments. So don't look too much into it. It's really just, you wanna look at the, the trend here and then pairing that with the monthly data to give you a better, you know, more precise feel of what's going on. But it is positive news that we're seeing, you know, going into the spring market, we're seeing steady prices. And once I show you a couple other metrics, you'll see why we haven't seen some massive crash like people have been talking about all over the mainstream news. So we have technically decreased from January, you know, to February and March, but February, March, almost the exact same median sales price. So now let's look at the actual closed sales. Now, as you can see, January of 2023, 105, 122 in February, 178 in March, so we're increasing here, but I like to compare this to last year, going into the spring market, this is closed sales that we're talking about. So January 124, compared to 105 in 2023. This is 2022, February 143. And as you can see, going into the spring market, you're seeing a big spike in closed sales. To follow typical trends, you should continue to see that going into our spring market, and that's what I am expecting to see. The next metric I wanna talk about is new listings, okay? So this is one of the biggest things we're starting to see in the market. Like we've seen in the last few years, we had a supply issue, right? So the supply issue was because of, you know, certain construction costs and materials, but also labor. So there's labor shortage. There's a lot of different factors that was weighing on supply. And we continued to have a low supply in the middle Tennessee market, right? But what's now happening, all these homes that were purchased on this run up over the last few years, when rates were at 3%, those were all financed at 3% rates. So now right now you can get you know, a 6% rate, 7% rate, you know, depending on the week, that's a 4% difference. And what these sellers are starting to realize is, hey, if I sell this home, I'm gonna go finance a home at 7% with new money, and I'm gonna run into a much larger payment. So now these people that would be typically selling their home are now turning into landlords. And on the news and stuff, if you've seen this, it's been termed accidental landlords. And it's because these homeowners are realizing that they can just rent this property out and cash flow that and then go buy a new property. And rather than giving up their 3% note, it just makes so much sense. A 3% note in today's market um, on over 30 years is just a no brainer to hold on to. So, that's what's happening. Now we're not only being affected by the shortage of builders and materials and labor costs, but now supply is also being weighed on from typical sellers that are saying, hey, actually I'm just gonna rent out my property. So now that's also weighing here on the market. So as you can see, these are new listings and we're not seeing a massive climb in new listings like you would typically see in a spring market, like June 464 in 2020. Now, obviously 2021, 300, 2022, 430. So 
it'll be interesting to see where we end up in June with new listings. So that's just something I'm keeping an eye on. And that's honestly what's helped continue to prop these prices up is because the demand, like we've talked about in other videos, I'm not gonna dive into all the different demand factors like schools and, and jobs and businesses moving to Franklin, but the demand is there. And then the supply issue has been the main thing that consistent demand and then supply is just held down. So our prices are increasing or staying stable. So that's what we're continuing to see here in the Franklin market. And this metric right here is showing, obviously, 453 homes are actually for sale. We've seen a decline since July of homes for sale. And I'm expecting to not see some massive spike in new listings just because of like what I talked about. Homeowners are sitting on a 3% note, it's gonna be a lot harder for them to want to sell and get new money. The next metric I wanna talk about is days on market. And as you can see, here we are, this was January. When I recorded the last video, we only had January's data and it was up to 2022. So we were seeing this massive climb in days on market, which means homes are just sitting on the market longer before they're under contract. So as you can see, you know, 2021, 2022 is very like less than four or five days on market at any given time. And then you saw the spike with a high interest rate environment, you know, the market was changing. And now here we are coming back down to six days on market in March. So we'll see what happens going into April, May, once that data comes in. But um, we have seen a large drop from that 22 days on market in January. And just to show you the numbers on supply, the month supply right now is 2.5. Like I've said before, a seller's market is anything less than six months supply and a buyer's market is anything greater than six months supply. So we are still obviously, the data is telling us we are in a seller's market and we're trending to stay inside the seller's market. Also the market, like you were seeing the prices, you know, the last two months, very steady median sales price. What we are also seeing is homes that are now new listings are being priced right. As you can see, this is the percentage uh, that it was sold for compared to list price. So in March, 100% sold price to list price, so priced right. Now, April 2022, this is when it was getting to the peak of the market, right? You know, people were bidding over ask of the list price. So sales price was 105% of list price. Then interest rates are changing, buyer power has gone down, but homeowners are trying to sell like it was April 2022, and they were overpricing their properties. And so as you can see, 98%, 99%, but here we are, 100% starting to level out and that goes back to the median sales price as well, leveling out. So I hope this video was helpful, giving you a snapshot of what's going on inside the Franklin, Tennessee real estate market. This was through March, 2023. We also send out PDF monthly market reports for Franklin and other surrounding cities. So if you're interested in that, just send us an email. We'd be happy to send one your way. But also we do specific neighborhood market reports. So monthly market report for a specific neighborhood, similar to this PDF format we can send that to you as well. So just reach out to us, we'd be happy to send you whatever you're interested in. Like I said before, I'm Brandon Johns with the Coleman Johns Group, and we make all these videos here on our YouTube channel to educate you and inform you on the real estate market here in Middle Tennessee. So whether you're a homeowner or you're moving to the area, reach out to us, we would love to be your real estate resource here in the Middle Tennessee area. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.